There was a short time where I stopped cosplaying and it's because I have a lot of self-confidence issues and I'm not an amazing seamstress and I've always been a little bit plump. And so for a long time, about, about two years, I didn't really make anything new, I didn't do anything. I helped make other things of other people's, but I was really afraid to do stuff myself. And I watched, I watched a really inspiring video about cosplay positivity and I said, you know what, you're right. I should be allowed to do this no matter what, whether I'm a beginner, whether I'm a little overweight, whether I'm short, it doesn't matter. I should be allowed to do this. We all should be allowed to do this. Thanks for watching. I'm Nanette Chan, and today I wanted to talk about cosplay positivity in the community because there has been a depressing amount of negativity <laughs> in the community lately. Uh, there's been a lot of elitism, there's been a lot of shaming, there's been a lot of bullying, there's been a lot of name calling, and it's downright depressing. I've been a part of this community since 2004, and I have met so many of my closest friends through the cosplay community. And it has been such a positive light in my life that it saddens me to see so much negativity. It almost seems like there, there's a direct split. There's the elitism cosplay community, and then there's the rest of us who truly do it because we love it, and because it's fun, and because we have a really good time doing it, and we make friends, and that, that's, that's what we love about it, and it should be. It should be for everyone. It's not for just the people who look like those characters or have a considered beautiful build for cosplaying or crossplaying or whatever. It should be for everyone, whether you're short, whether you're tall, whether you're skinny, whether you're plump, whether you're pale, whether you're covered in freckles, whether you're dark skinned, whether you're male and you want to be a girl, whether you're female and want to be a male, whether you're older or younger, it shouldn't matter. You should be allowed to cosplay. Who's gonna, who, no one has the right to tell you you can't. There's no criteria other than as long as you're having a good time, you should be allowed to do it. And that's true. That's exactly what it is. It's a hobby. Yes, it's a hobby that some people have been lucky enough to make into a profession, but first and foremost, it's a hobby and it's meant to be for fun. And if you're not having fun anymore, there's something wrong and it's probably not with you. So I'm here to remind everyone that cosplay is for all of us. Cosplay is for those of us who are middle-aged. Cosplay is for those of us who are 12. Cosplay is for those of us who are a little bit plump. It's for those of us who are skinny. It's for those of us who are dark-skinned, light-skinned, male, female. Doesn't matter what race you are. I'm not Japanese, but I cosplay Japanese people all the time. Japanese people aren't other things, but they cosplay other ethnicities all the time. It's not, it's not a matter of whether you look like who you want to be. And you know what? Yeah, that's always nice. I'll be like, oh, I kind of look like that person. So I would cosplay that person really well. That just makes that cosplay easier. No big deal. But you should be allowed to be whoever you want to be. I am a five foot two, slightly plump, well endowed woman. I still crossplay men who are significantly taller than me, probably thinner than me, and, oh wait, they're men, and I am not a man. And even with binding, I don't look like a man at all. I never will. I am very much a woman, and people just have to deal with that. Because I'm having a good time, and the people I'm with are having a good time. And that's all that matters. When people get online, they're like, you're fat, and you look stupid. They're like, you know what, I don't care. Because I'm having a good time, and 
your opinion doesn't matter to me. The only opinions that matter to me are my friends and their opinions are usually like, I'm so glad you did that. You look great. Are you having a good time? They're not like, oh, well, you did this wrong and you did that wrong and you're too fat and you're too short. Oh, and you're a girl. Who cares? They don't. I don't. So it's a hobby and it should be fun. The only time you should choose not to cosplay is if you're not having fun. And usually if you're not having fun, you're probably not in the right group of people. Or maybe you're a sad lone cosplayer. That's when it's time to get on the commute on the interwebs and find your community, you know? Some places have huge, blooming, wonderful cosplay communities. Some places like mine are not so large and blooming and wonderful. A lot of my cosplay friends live not anywhere near me. The closest ones that are not, I mean, think I've got, I've got a small batch of people that live in my area, but the next closest batch of friends are in Vegas and that's two hours from me. Or it's up north, four to five, six hours away from me, or in Southern California. If you don't live in a really cosplay active area, that doesn't mean you can't be a part of the community. I have a friend who had some really uncomfortable cosplay experiences and it kind of made her not want to cosplay for a while and this last fall she was invited to be a part of a cosplay group with me and some of my friends and a couple other people I'd never actually cosplayed with and when we arrived at the event there was such an amazingly positive atmosphere and reaction from the group that it actually inspired her to come back to the community and to be active as a cosplayer again and that's what it's all about it's about that feeling of community and it's about having fun and it's about being creative and just going out there and having a good time and so you know when given the right response and when encouraged this can be an amazing community and it's just it saddens me to see so much negative negativity lately i've seen so many friends on facebook and twitter and whatnot that like there was one one day a few weeks ago where i saw like four different friends that are like cosplay positivity, blah, don't let people tell you that you're dumb and whatnot and so forth. And I'm like, the fact that people are having to say this is really, really upsetting. Like they shouldn't have to put those posts of, don't worry, we're here for you and blah, and remember that you are awesome. And it's all because they were dealing with rude people online and and even and not even necessarily online sometimes it happens in person and when it happens in person just walk away if they're being rude to you they're not worth your time because they obviously don't understand that this is for everyone but you can be the big person to understand that it's for everyone but um all i can say is it's for all of us and the only way to help the situation is to always be positive you know, don't tell people they're doing it wrong. Don't shame them. Don't bully them. Don't make fun of them. You never know how sensitive someone might be. You know, some people are, are pretty hard. They're like, whatever, you can say whatever you want to me. I'm a freaking rock. I'm a wall, whatever. But some people, that bullying goes too far and it pushes them out of the community or even worse. And you know what, we all deserve to have a good time all of us. Cosplay is for everyone, not just a select amount of people. So now that I've had my soapbox talk, I have compiled a list of cosplayers who have, with their permission, submitted images, and I'm going to show you that cosplay is really for everyone. I'll have all their pages linked in the description, so if you want to go watch their pages, I'm sure they would love that, and I'm sure you would have a good time. If you see me at a convention, please say hello. I'd love to take a selfie with you and say hi. I love chatting with people. I love new friends. 
thanks so much for watching and keep being awesome.